So let's take the journey of conformational isomerism ahead and talk about the two types, the sawhorse and the Newman projection that we need to know to understand conformational isomerism. Sawhorse. Okay, let's see what this kind of a projection formula means. That there can be condensed formula, there can be expanded formula, there can be bond line formula. But when we are talking about conformational isomerism, we can have two projections. Sawhorse, Newman. Very important. Now, let's not restrict ourselves talking about these projection only in conformational isomerism. You will see it being utilized further in optical isomerism also. Where we will talk about the interconversion of one projection to another. So, listen to this very well that when we talk about sawhorse, Imagine these kinds of lines are there, so horse, right? <clears throat> now check this out. How we are viewing a molecule? We are talking about, let's say, ethane here. Ethane, CH3, CH3. Now in ethane, how, how are we viewing it? Molecule is viewed sidewise. If you see it sidewise, can you observe that we have hydrogens here, three hydrogens here, three hydrogen here. And we have one carbon here and one carbon here. So how many carbons? Two carbons and six hydrogens, right? So if you remember, we can also write it like this. You can see this is coming out of the plane. The wedge lines out here means out of the plane. The dash is inside the plane. Okay, so... So, horse projection we write like this. Please observe. There are these slant lines that we are using. The tetravalency of carbon is complete. Check that these two represent where we are writing these hydrogens, right? And this is a carbon carbon sigma bond, the very interesting, intriguing bond that we are interested in under the heading of conformational isomerism. Because the electronic distribution around the sigma bond is symmetrical, right? So, rotation would not affect it at all, right? So, is not what is in the case of a pi bond. In pi bond, it's a restricted bond. You can't just go about rotation. Come on. You know that in pi bond, there is overlap. What kind of an over overlap? Sidewise overlap. And if you rotate, blunder. That's a blunder. So, observe sawhorse projection yet again. Please see. Again, I have taken ethane. See how the first carbon is highlighted. Check the second carbon being highlighted. And check this carbon-carbon sigma bond being highlighted. This is how we represent sawhorse projection. Okay? Now, let's look at new men projection. And then we will utilize it under conformational isomerism. Check this molecule now, Newman. How can you remember that which is a sawhorse, which, can, which is a Newman? In sawhorse, you can see these lines. In Newman, it's like a moon, you know. Can you see? Moon. It's kind of a moon. Isn't it? So, here we molecule, you know, we view the molecule at the carbon-carbon head-on. Head-on, like from the front. So, molecule is viewed from one atom, usually carbon, directly along a selected bond axis to the next atom. So, you can see that we have one carbon here, which is the second carbon. This represents the second carbon. This full circle out here represents the second carbon. So, two carbons. Please observe the hydrogens. Right? Better to observe it in 3D. Saw, saw horse is something that you have already saw, that you have already seen. Okay. So, check this out. From saw horse, how can we understand Newman? The first carbon, the three hydrogens of first carbon. Now, the second carbon, the three hydrogen of the second carbon. Now, we are looking at like head on, right? And see? Did you just observe this? What's going on? The Newman projection is on the right. The sawhorse is on the left. 
we just saw how to understand saw horse now from saw horse please see how we are looking at the saw horse we are not looking it at a, as a slant line now we are looking at it head on from the first carbon so second carbon is getting at the back of the first carbon right okay so it's something that should be clear to everybody saw horse and newman the two projections which are going to be utilized by me so check this out we can interconvert the question can be about the interconversion of the two i'm just restricting right now to ethane i will talk about propane butane okay what all is in your syllabus ethane propane and butane so so horse like a slant line this is one carbon this is two carbon here this joining of the three hydrogen the point where the three hydrogens are being joined is the carbon the second circle is just the carbon at its back right so this is the second carbon and it is like have you seen tom and jerry all of you have so you remember those kind of scenes where uh the tom is going and he has been you know let's say squeezed inside a plate and he becomes like a coin so imagine that what's happening is we take the saw horse the and we just squeeze it and see it in 2d in a way so that's what you see a newman and a saw horse like the interconversion should also be high definition crystal clear right the interconversion let me show you once again how we are going to interconvert check this out this is the newman projection again of ethane please see this is saw horse right check once again this is newman you can't see the second carbon but while we write it down like this in the newman form there is one where the two hydrogen the three hydrogens are intersecting that point is one and the back circle is the second carbon ma'am what if we have to make propane it's very simple all that we do is for writing propane everything remains same it's just that one of the hydrogens we can write a methyl there ch3 there that makes it three carbons what if we have a butane we can put a one more ch3 so it becomes butane do you understand how we are dealing it so now keeping the points in mind i have a question waiting for you which of the following saw horse representation is correct for the given newman projection wonderful apply your brain apply your visual apparatus you have seen saw horse and newman projection just right now you also saw the interconversion keeping all that in mind you know that these this point and the big circle represents the two carbon right also there is something that you can see that in the first one we have a methyl here in the second carbon we have a methyl attached as well so the two carbons these two carbon this dot and the big circle are in so horse these two carbons right now what else is there we see a methyl out here at the top in the first carbon and in the second one we see it down like this isn't it very easy ha huh? all that you have to do is just stretch it and you can see it very well from the molecular axis if you see it this is what it will be looking like right and if you see it head on from the front like head on from first carbon you can see it in the newman projection way so observe that the two methyl are just opposite to each other one is here and one is here in this newman projection and once we have drawn this molecular axis one ch3 should be if one is at the top shown the other one is shown just you know at the bottom because they are at the two completely opposite sides if you can see from the newman and we will also just right now learn what kind of the conformer will it be called we have a name for this kind of an extremity you know there are infinite rotamers possible but we 
need to understand the extreme varieties, the extreme kind of rotamer where the two, let's say, methyl are just closest to each other, where two methyl are just very opposite to each other. So this is a case where they're just opposite to each other. So let's see, here methyl and a methyl are closest to each other. Here methyl and this methyl, look at this. So there is some sort of rotation, but it's not completely opposite. Check this out. This also is not completely opposite. It's just an option D that you can see that the CH3 are just as far away from each other as possible. Exactly how it is given in the Newman projection. So D, the Sohorse projection, which is given in option D, best represents the Newman projection, which is given to us. The two CH3 are just as far away from each other as possible.